Hi viewers, welcome to JSM. In this class, I am going to explain bond energy or bond enthalpy. So here, the definition for bond energy is the minimum amount of average energy required to break one mole of bond present between two atoms present in gaseous molecule is known as bond energy. Okay, the minimum amount of energy required to break a bond between two atoms for example so if you take here so i am taking a molecule that is hydrogen molecule so which is present in gaseous state so here one covalent bond is there between these two hydrogen atoms to break this bond to break this one mole of bond how much amount of energy required that is called as bond energy okay when the bond breakage takes place here two hydrogen atoms are formed both are in gaseous state to this so we required plus 436 kilojoules per mole amount of energy 436 kilojoules per mole amount of energy required to break the bond present between two hydrogen atoms then according to this definition second definition what we can say here the minimum amount of energy released when one mole of bonds formation takes place between two atoms in gaseous state to give a molecule is known as bond energy bond enthalpy okay so according to this definition let us see the two hydrogen atoms i am taking when these two hydrogen atoms present in the gaseous state when combines each other that will form hydrogen molecule which is present in the gaseous state okay hydrogen atoms combines each other and forms hydrogen molecule when bond formation takes place between two atoms the amount of energy released the released energy we can write as okay with sign minus then the energy is 436 kilojoules per mole here you see when the bond breakage takes place between similar atom hydrogen and hydrogen when the bond formation takes place between hydrogen and hydrogen atom the energy absorbed that means energy required and energy released both are equal the value is same but the sign is different here a positive sign indicating energy required energy absorbed here negative sign indicating energy released okay that means what we can say here for similar type of molecule formation and molecule uh, bond breakage between the molecule the amount of energy required the amount of energy released values are same but sign is opposite when we are saying that is endothermic process and when we are saying that is exothermic process okay so let us take one example that is when Cl molecule, Cl2 molecule is present in gaseous state. Okay, it will dissociates into two chlorine atoms in gaseous state. Here, between two chlorine atoms, one bond is present, one covalent bond is present. To break this bond, okay, the amount of energy required is that is delta H equal to plus. 242 kilojoules per mole that means to break one molar bonds present between two chlorine atoms how much amount of energy required 242 kilojoules of amount of energy required okay when the same atoms means chlorine atoms combines each other when chlorine atoms combines each other forms chlorine molecule in gaseous state so here chlorine molecule undergoes dissociation and gives two chlorine atoms in this case chlorine atoms combines each other and forms chlorine molecule in this case the amount of energy released in the formation of a bond between two atoms amount of energy released that we are indicating with negative what is the value here the how much amount of energy required to break the bond that is equal to the the amount of energy released 
when the similar atoms combines each other that's why what you can say here the amount is same but signs are different the 242 kilojoules per mole and also you can take one more example that is if you take hcl molecule in gaseous state so to break the bond present between hcl to break this covalent bond then here it will give hydrogen and chlorine the delta h value means the amount of energy required to break this bond the bond energy is plus 431 kilojoules per mole to break the one mole of bond present between hcl amount of energy required plus 431 kilojoules amount of energy required in the same way when this hydrogen and chlorine hydrogen atom and chlorine atom in the gaseous state combines each other gives hcl molecule gives hcl molecule in this combination in the formation of bond between hydrogen and chlorine energy what will happen energy released the released energy we are indicating with negative sign that is exothermic process and here how much amount of energy released that is equal to the how much amount of energy absorbed during the bond breakage that's why here we can say minus 431 kilojoules per mole okay that's why what we can say here how much amount of energy absorbed during the bond breakage the same amount of energy released when bond formation takes place between the similar type of atoms okay still now we discussed bond energy for the diatomic molecules only so like h2 cl2 hcl so when come to the polyatomic molecules so we know what is polyatomic molecule the polyatomic molecule means the molecule which is formed by the more than two atoms more than two atoms for example if you take h2o h2o is a polyatomic molecule here two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen totally three atoms are present that's why we are saying it is a polyatomic molecule so in this molecule so when you see the bond energy so how we are taking that water molecule uh, structure is we know that angular a v-shape or bent shape to break the bond initially to break the bond between o and hydrogen oxygen and hydrogen so here the amount of energy required that is delta h equal to 502 kilojoules per mole 502 kilojoules per mole then so next to break the bond between okay here one more bond we have between oxygen and hydrogen to break this bond the amount of energy required is delta H equal to 424 kilojoules per mole. Okay. To break the bond, the first bond between oxygen and hydrogen, how much amount of energy required? That is 502 kilojoules per mole amount of energy required. So next, one more bond we have between oxygen and hydrogen. To break this bond, how much amount of energy required here? 427 kilojoules per mole amount of energy required. So here in the polyatomic molecules, due to the more than one bond, okay, due to the more than one bond, each bond energy we are saying as bond dissociation energy. That means this is a bond dissociation energy. This is also said to be bond dissociation energy. But in the case of diatomic molecules like HCl and H2 and Cl2, here only one bond is present between two atoms. Okay, then here we are saying bond energy is equal to the bond dissociation energy. Even though if you have nitrogen, triple bond nitrogen, between two atoms, three bonds are there. Okay, even though here we are saying this is a diatomic molecule that's why we can say bond energy equal to bond dissociation energy no need to worry about that okay so if you have oxygen double bond oxygen so here also we are saying bond bond energy equal to bond dissociation energy but in this case 
so we have two bonds okay these two bonds not present like that n2 and o2 okay between two atoms there is no uh, more bonds okay so we have two bonds between different atoms that's why what we are saying here to break the single bond the amount of energy required present in the polyatomic molecule is said to be bond dissociation energy instead of bond energy then how we can say bond energy in this polyatomic molecules in this polyatomic molecules bond energy is average amount of energy according to definition you see so what is the definition here the amount of average energy required to break the bond between two atoms in a gaseous molecule so that's why what you can say here bond energy is the average value average value of which average value of bond dissociation energies you know how many bond dissociation energies are there two bond dissociation energies are present in the h2o molecule that's why we can say bond dissociation energy of first bond and bond dissociation energy of second bond so totally two bonds we have so that's why what we can say here when you take the average here 502 plus 427 by 2 then it will give 464.5 kilojoules per mole okay when polyatomic molecule is present bond energy we are taking as average value of bond dissociation energies of the bonds present in the polyatomic molecule okay for example if you have nh3 nh3 if you have in this each bond having bond dissociation energies individually so this is a bond dissociation energy one this is a bond dissociation energy two this is bond dissociation energy three then how we can take bond energy for nh3 molecule bond energy average equal to the bond dissociation energy one plus bond dissociation energy two plus bond dissociation energy three by three bonds totally okay bond dissociation energy one bond dissociation energy two bond dissociation energy three by three that means your bond energy is nothing but average value of all the bond dissociation energies present in a polyatomic molecule so let us see next example CH4 methane. In the methane we have four sigma bonds. Four sigma bonds are present. To break the first sigma bond, the 426 kilojoules amount of energy required. To break the second bond, 439 kilojoules of amount of energy required. Then to break the third bond, 451 kilojoules per mole amount of energy required to break the fourth bond 347 kilojoules amount of energy required okay so here to break the each bond present in a polyatomic molecule that is known as bond dissociation energy that is known as bond dissociation energy so here this is said to be the first energy is said to be bond dissociation energy one the second energy is bond dissociation energy two and third one is bond dissociation energy 3 then fourth one bond dissociation energy 4 okay then how we can calculate the bond energy for CH single bond that is we have to take as average of all bond dissociation energies okay bond energy average equal to the bond dissociation energy 1 and bond dissociation energy 2 plus bond dissociation energy 3 plus bond dissociation energy 4 so totally how many bonds we have here 4 bonds we have then we can take here bond energy average equal to 426 plus 439 plus 451 plus 347 by 4 then we can take here 1663 by 4 1663 by 4 is nothing but here 416 kilojoules per mole means average bond energy of CH bond is how much 416 kilojoules per mole so this is the difference between bond energy and 
bond dissociation energy okay bond energy is nothing but average value of bond dissociation energy of individual bonds in polyatomic molecules okay